Right. Hello there, it's Andy, your lonely libertarian citizen of Simi Valley, California. This weekend I did a little Christmas shopping. Not much, just a little few gifts here and there. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about uh, what I noticed going Christmas shopping. Now, I was in the Target here in Simi Valley, and I also went to the other Target in Moore Park. Um, and, you know, I was looking for toys. And there were plenty of toys. And this always surprises me. Just a few days before Christmas, there are plenty of toys in the store. Amazing. Lots and lots of toys. Now, in Christmas's past, especially when everybody was more flush with cash, I can tell you that, you know, we'd go to the store in about this time of year, and there would be nothing left. None of the good toys would be left. Well, there are plenty of Wii's. There are plenty of those stupid farting mechanical hamsters or whatever. There's plenty of that stuff out there. And what does it tell you? It tells you that people just, this is going to be one of the thinnest Christmases for a lot of people across the nation. Um, because even here in Simi Valley, you know, we have a, uh, I would say, a uh, pretty well-off, um, you know, middle-class uh, the citizenry here is pretty well off middle class and we have not seen the uh, huge amount of job losses that they've seen in other parts of the, of the country but um, that's because we have some like military installations and we have uh, Rocketdyne and we have a few other big businesses here like Bank of America and their big uh, loan servicing operations here. Yeah. It's here in Simi Valley if you guys want to know. It's where all the banksters work. But uh, yeah, so but seeing that that they uh, you know haven't cleaned out the shelves this year that was pretty remarkable and I, I was you know in the store going about my business and I noticed somebody else talking about that and you know then I commented on it and I said you know yeah it's very interesting what does this tell you uh, that people really don't have the money this Christmas to buy you know the you know frivolous toys for their kids they're putting it into clothing. Saw lots of people buying clothing. Uh, they're putting it into you know socks and underwear and things that you need this year. It's not going to be the the jingle all the way to the cashier at Christmas. So I just wanted to like make that remark. Um, a few other things I've noticed. Uh, I've seen uh, some prices go up in the food stores. Uh, price of milk is just gone up a little bit, even though that here milk is subsidized in California, but uh, it has gone up a little bit, and uh, we're seeing some other prices rise. Uh, although right now there are a bunch of deals on canned goods, I kind of wonder about that. Um, well, not real deals, but like Target had canned corn for 50 cents, which hasn't been that low for a while, but it was just to get people in the store, I think. Um, and you know, what else am I seeing? Well, from the standpoint of my store, you know, business was pretty good last week and the week before. It wasn't excellent, but it was you know, better than it had been in November. Uh, but so far today, it was really off, uh, back down to one of those $5, $10 days. Um, and, um, you know, I had seven or eight people come to the store today, but only two people bought books and, you know, one book each. So no big spenders today, but um, you know hopefully <laughs> we'll kind of the people who came in before it seemed like the shop. So I'm hoping they'll, they'll come back. Um, what else am I noticing? Uh, well, that's about it. Although I will tell you one thing: I uh, we have a local coin dealer here who uh, just a few weeks ago he had like no silver and gold in the store. Uh, he still doesn't have much gold; he has like a few ounces, but uh, yeah, except for the collectible coins, you know some of those. But uh, bullion, he didn't have much. Uh, but last time I was in there, he had a lot of silver. So I don't know if that tells you, but he, you know, he was he was uh, buying silver, which is a good sign. Uh, well, it's a good sign if he's buying silver. It's a good sign that because um, a few weeks ago he wasn't buying. He was slowed down his buying of silver. But this time he he had been buying a little bit, and I guess he thinks that the price is going to turn go a little higher now. So. I don't know if that helps out. I mean, you have silver bugs or gold bugs out there, but um, I did manage to buy a few ounces last week to add to my 
my humble stock. You know, everybody I think should have, you know, I don't expect you to put all your savings into it, but you should have a little bit to protect you. I mean, in the sense of, you know, should something happen and uh, the dollar collapses and it needs a few days to find its bearings, um, you know, you should have something else of value that you can trade. And, you know, having a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars uh, in silver is not going to hurt you. So I suggest, you know, you put a few thousand dollars away or, or more if you can afford it. Um, you know, if you have, let's say, $10,000 in savings, well, you know, it makes sense to take $5,000 of that and put it into uh, precious metals, you know, physical, you know, gold or silver. And, uh, you know, that way at least you're hedging against the other $5,000 that you have. Uh, and if uh, the price goes down and the value of a dollar goes up, well, then you're okay. If the if, uh, value of the dollar goes down, well, then you're also okay because your gold hopefully is going out in value too. So, anyways, I think that's it for today. Uh, I'll leave it that. Just some random usings. I don't know what good is going to do, you, but just things I saw this weekend. So, anyways, what should I leave it with? Oh, nah, I don't know that. Ah, but I did find a good book. Okay. The Woodworker. Now. This may be come in very useful. I mean, I think that uh, those of us who are thinking that we may have to do more things by ourselves and make things again should be collecting books like this, you know, how-to books and, you know, whatever it can be, you know, 1,001 you, you know, uses of things you can find in the dump, I don't know. But uh, this woodworking book is excellent and uh, it has lots of projects in it. But it also talks about the various tools that you use, and uh, you know, I mean, this is a, a, um, you know, for someone who doesn't know much about woodworking, uh, this is an excellent book, and uh, I don't know what it's sold for. Uh, I can't even tell you. You, know, you probably find it for about 10, 15 bucks. Uh, the woodworker. It probably sold for more than that. I mean, that's probably what they'd sell it for in a used bookshop like mine. They'd probably sell it for 10 bucks. So anyways, I guess that's it.